Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. All right, so in the last episode, after much faffing about, we got onto the boat, and then we proceeded to faff about some more. So we didn't really get too much done, but um, we are on a boat called the... Or sorry, not a boat. I guess it's more of a ship. A ship called the Lady Vengeance, which used to belong to the... Um, to Dallas and Alexander or something? I don't know. Um, apparently it's made out of, like... Elven Livewood or something? Unfortunately, not made out of elven parts, but uh, some sort of spiritual elven tree thing or whatever. And we, this is, I'm assuming, going to be our base of operations. Okay, so let's go down further down the uh, hold. And we've got Baron Samity over here with Han Solo. There's something to these doors I'm not seeing. But what? Um, I don't know. Uh, Han? Pretty nice boat, eh? We got an upgrade. Uh, wait. What upgrade? There's got to be another way to get it going, but we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. Uh, go away, creepy kid. All right, before we activate the door, I think the... Whoa. Wah wah wee wah. Uh, I believe the code is, um... Something to do with constitution or something. Sergeant Godzilla? Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. Ah, right. So these are the randomly generated uh, companions that you can recruit. So, what'll it be? Uh, no, I don't really want them. I want to stick with uh, our named guys. Like a Fane, maybe, or Losa, uh, or Sabil, or maybe even the Red Prince. Maybe not so much Beast. Not a big fan of dwarves. I'm also don't really like the um, the the cut of um, Ben's jib either. So maybe we'll ignore him. And what is this? We've got holy shit! It's Bishop Alexander. It's fucking Humpty Dumpty himself. They put him back together after we exploded his body. My god. That is insane. That is some crazy healing. Holy crap. And who is next to him? Magister Ranley. He's got some really funky eyebrows. Constance and <gasps> it's Losa. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh are you kidding me? So We've got quite the task on our hands, haven't we? I have to admit, the whole thing is very intriguing. Uh, tell her you don't know what this next chapter will hold, but you hope she'll join you in finding out. Yeah, let's 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 get the old flirt going. The old band back together again, hmm? I guess that depends, doesn't it? Well, I guess she didn't really see that as flirting. Well, fair enough. Look at me. Hard. What do you see? Oh. Well. <laughs> I, ought to chain you I am I'm looking at you hard. Magister oh, Ranley, damn right, Fabrosi. We're looking at her hard. Well, I see a couple of things that really stand out, Losa. Losa leans back slightly, thin arms crossed in front of her chest, and stares at you defiantly from dark eye sockets, darker and deeper set than when you first met. She blows back a lock of white hair, matted with sweat and grime, and holds back a smile from the corners of her lips. Uh, say you see her, Losa, the same person you traveled with, traveled with before. Tell her she's looking worse for wear. Tell her you see a nice young lady in need of a nice long bath. Uh, I don't know. Losa is simultaneously jokey and also a bit of a straight shooter. So I think this might be a little maybe too forward or too jokey. Maybe this is too... Sugar coating. I feel like maybe this might be the best option, maybe? Uh, let's try it out. I mean, maybe she'll think that it's an insult or whatever, like a friendly jab or something, and then she might play it off or something. I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Holy crap, I'm on a roll. Your god wants me dead. My god? Devil? <laughs> Who knows? It wants me. It's getting stronger, and I need to outpace it. Wait, what do you mean, my god? I want to make sure you understand, well, the risks. 
did we tell her about Amadia wanting or saying that uh, she's a liability? Uh, tell her she isn't a risk to you. She's a companion and a friend. Ask her to explain what exactly she believes the risks are. Say you understand them fully, she should still join you. What do you mean, the risks? I can hear its thoughts. It isn't out for blood. It's out for pain. Domination. Total domination. Well, that's fine. I'm out for the uh, exact same goal there. I was wrong to think I could hold it off. I might hurt you. I might hurt anyone. Could you stop me? Really stop me if it came to that? Tell her you did it before when she turned against the elf Sahila, remember? Tell her you'll do whatever is necessary. Hesitate, you're not sure. Refuse. Uh, remember I bashed your face in when you attacked Sahila? Do I ever. Still sore from that one. At the time, I wanted you to defend me. I didn't realize how bad things had gotten. I know better now. Something like that happens again. You do what needs to be done. Deal? Hesitate. You're not sure you can promise that. Not. It's a deal. Refuse. What lies ahead is a mystery. You can't vow to me. Can't make a vow you might break. Let's just... Uh, sure, it's a deal. Well, all right then. She pinches your cheek, a sparkle in her dim grey eyes. Wait, what cheek? I knew I could count on you to murder me in a pinch. That's for Brosi. Let's go, Chief. All right, fine. Okay, the murderer's guy. What? Wait, what? The murderer's geist? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Good grief. Okay, um, fine. Alright. I ought to chain you up like your lot did to me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, is there anything else that we can loot here? The beer barrel? Probably not. We'll talk to Constance and uh, Bishop Alexander and whatnot later. We need, aha, there you are, Sibyl. Sibyl? Can I maybe flirt with you a little bit? We've braved the joy and I lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? Tell her you'd love for her to join you. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabeel in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. That's it? No further pomp and circumstance? Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping we could get our major flirt on, but fair enough. Got some more barrels. Fantastic. More barrels and more barrels. Great. Do we unlock this one? The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Reach for the doorknob? The wood groans and creaks. For a moment, you swear a face appears in the wood. A face tortured and tormented, a six-sided shape carved upon its forehead. The face vanishes. Um... Let's just turn away. I, oh, right, the password the is fortitude. But maybe we should go in from the other side. Although this appears to be all the gold and jewelry and whatnot. Maybe we'll go in from the other side. All right, let's do it from here. Let's the impress these guys. Any door, at least at first. Let's then reach for the, the doorknob. And the face vanishes. State the password. Fortitude. The door remains closed. It seems you need more than a password to open it. Dang, nabbit. Okay, what do we need to do in that? Now uh, then, the painting of Alexander is apparently too heavy. Packages are too heavy. Some massive packages. Whoa! Got a loose plank with a nail bomb grenade, a medium healing potion. Did anyone use up any other potions during the fight? No, but I think Losa might need one. That's good. Okay, good find there. Good find. Holy crap! That's more beer barrels and barrels and shit, but uh, not much else beyond that. Maybe some of these guys might have an idea of what we should do next. What is this? This appears to be the same mirror that we saw in the uh, Hall of Echoes or whatever that place was uh, back in the first one. The void place? Like our homestead? Okay. Ah, so this is where we get to change our looks and shit again. Glory is mine. That sounds terrible. Try again. No. Meet your maker. No. Uh, nice try. I don't know. I, I think I prefer that accent the best. Maybe not so much the voice, but attributes. 
Whoa, okay, so we can actually... What? Okay, so we can actually respect like this? Hot ah, damn. Then we should definitely start putting some points into thievery. Yeah, and then maybe we'll leave the bartering to someone else. Hmm, that might be a good idea. Yeah, maybe. Talents. That's cool. Hot ah, damn, and we can change our instruments too. Shit, okay. That's good. Uh, can we maybe do that with another character too? We can. Hot damn, Losa. Hot damn. We can change the color of her skin. From wheat? We can change her face, her hairstyle, her hair color, facial features, and her voice. No, we can't change her voice. Oh shit, we can actually respec our own, um, our companions too. That's awesome. Hot damn. That is fantastic. Okay, maybe we should in fact turn Losa into the barter person. And then Fane can be our um, lore master. And uh, Fabrosi can be the uh, tricks, uh, the thievery guy. Because let's face it, Fabrosi is the scum of the earth. And then, whoa. Losa, did your portrait change? I, why did your portrait change, Losa? What's up with that? You look different. I'm fairly certain that's not what we had before. I don't think I changed anything either. Sabil? Is this gonna change your look to- Oh, I think it's gonna change your look to- Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, yeah, it changed the portrait. Shit, it went from the default to, uh... Whatever that is now. Damn. Whoa, I'm sorry, Fane. I didn't mean to do that. Wait. Okay, yeah, no, I get that. It's because we didn't spend the one of the points there. Oh, no, now their portraits are messed up. Damn. Well, I mean, it's fine. We meant to um, do that shit anyways. Candle holder? No, no, no. Maybe we can actually open this one up with a password. No entry allowed through the starboard stateroom door. Please use the... Okay. Sure. It's now talking to me? The door remains unmarked. Fortitude. The door remains closed. It seems you need more. Okay, well, fine. I guess we need a key or something. Um, there's a skeletal cat roaming around in there. Fantastic. And there is a ship rat. Ship rat? Talk to me, ship rat. Where is ship rat? Ship rat? Where you going, bitch? How you doing? Ask the rat if it knows how to steer the ship. You creatures with your legs and arms and your opposable thumbs. You always want to steer the ship. You need to trust the ship. It knows what it's doing. It dances to the tune. Ask the rat the question, to which tune does the ship dance? It goes... La 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 la... Or something like that. It's pretty catchy, but I can't remember how it goes. Good thing Dallas had that book, eh? Ask the, ask the rat how Dallas used his book. Oh, she opened it and looked at the marks on the inside. How the hell else? Uh, that was a, yeah, that was a pretty stupid question for Brosie. All right, all right. Go to the nose bit of the ship. Open the book. Look at the markings inside it. Sing the song. That's it. Get it right and the ship will dance to your tune. Get it wrong and the ship will kill you. Uh, we're... Where's the book, though? That's always entertaining. Do I have the book? For me, anyway. Damn. Okay. Lady of War. Um. I'm supposed to find a book. I'm also supposed to somehow There's get into. Coach. Right. Those degenerates won't talk to us. Um. Supposed to find a way inside. The room too, which I'm not quite sure how to. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take that backpack. That extra backpack. Here, you can take that extra backpack back. <laughs> ah, it's the small things that entertain me. Alright, um... So anyone see anything that we can use to open up the room? I'm assuming we need to get into the room to be able to get the book. Right? Because I'm fairly certain we don't have a book on how to steer the boat. 
At least I'm fairly certain we don't. Maybe this crate? Or this chest? It's got a pillow. There are feathers inside, apparently. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything. And there's a couple more pillows. Great. How does that help us exactly? I mean, I guess it makes life a little bit more easier for some people, but do we really want that? Okay, um... Hmm. The escape. Closed. Got it. Right. And uh, what about... Hmm, Lady of War. The entrance is guarded by two speaking doors. We need to get past them. Lively wood. Uh, password is fortitude. I know that. Malady. No, I don't think Malady knows anything. Damn. All right, well... Is there maybe a book around here somewhere? Is the book near the front of the boat? Is a book on someone's dead body? On the source hounds? No, most likely not, right? Maybe we need to rip someone's face off. Maybe that's how we get the uh, thing to cooperate. But... I still don't know where the book is. Alright, nope. That's not working. Alright, fine. I think we might have to go back down. To find this book. An old book of songs. Written in a strange language. How do we get into Dallas's room? The door remains unmarked. Knock on the door. The thud of your fist upon the wood resonates deeper than you'd expected it to. It turns into what sounds like a moan, then echoes away into silence. The door remains closed. Okay, fine. Um, how about we rattle the doorknob? The anguished face appears, then vanishes. The door remains closed. All right, the fine. Then we'll unmarked. say the, the password. Door remains closed. Damn it! There's got to be some clue. Dallas would have trusted someone with the secret, wouldn't she? Or maybe we need to talk to one of the prisoners. Yeah, we might need to talk to one of the prisoners. Because the silent monks ain't saying shit. So maybe... Constance, maybe we do need to talk to you? Yeah, Constance. Help me get out of here so I can stop faffing about. The seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here, not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Uh, talk to open the gate. You want to find out if the prisoners know how to get the ship moving? Stare through the bars at Alexander's unconscious form and note the Seekers have a valuable bargaining chip. Note that she seems to be in some sort of pain. Yeah, are you in pain? I wish. No. The Magisters kept me chained to the bulkhead. Arms held above me head, feet barely able to touch the deck. Now my joints are paying the price. So you are in pain, but not exactly from like a fight or nothing. Cast your eye around and ask if this is where the Magisters kept the secret prisoners locked up. No. They had us down below, chained up in the dark. But the Reds were up to something in here. Down below? Maybe it was just the lack of food and rest playing tricks. But oh, I swear I heard chanting and... Ugh, horrible moaning coming from here. But when we broke free, it was empty. Uh, all right. Let's say she has. A, they have a, a valuable bargaining chip. Or a big bloody target on our backs. We took their leader and their flagship. The hammer won't stand for that. She'll be hunting for us. Ask about the other magister prisoner. Is she anyone important? The seeker throws a toxic look at the imprisoned magister. Hardly. She's just some deckhand. Aha. If it were up to me, I'd tie her to the main mast and use her for arrow practice. But Malady. Wants her alive for now. All right, let's uh, let's get the prison open. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold, and the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. We have to try. All right then, just don't make me regret it. It's okay. I'm more than capable of bashing her face in myself and then tearing it off. Which reminds me, I should probably give Maybe these guys some of their useful. stuff back. Also, Sabil, I meant to have you equip this, by the way. Uh, I like the look of this one, but hmm. If it were up to me, 
You'd be swinging from the end of a rope, not locked up in here. Wow, okay, constant. Corker's mate of the divine eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. All right, well, she appears to be trained in military ways. A young that. magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. Listen, I don't think that's going to help him um, get over the fact that his body was exploded. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Say that they need to get the ship moving now. She must know something. Tell her that you're no seeker and they're always grateful to help uh, to those who help them. If she knows how to get the ship moving, she, they might look more kindly on her. Note that she must be shocked to find herself tending to the divine himself. Ranley, Corker's mate, Lady Vengeance. Uh, let's just try to butter her up a little bit. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the um, diplomatic, raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Declare that it's simple. Either she tell you what she wants, uh, what sh she knows now, or you'll have to start playing rough. We failed. The Magister's stare hardens into an intense scowl. Damn it. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. Shit, we failed. Magister Ran. Damn. All right, I guess we need to get someone else to uh, try it out. Maybe someone with some good intelligence. Fane, can you maybe intelligence her to death? A young Magister paces. She notices you. Magister Ranley. Corker's All right. Yeah, I know. Magister I know. Ranley. The Magister intelligence, silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Point to Alexander and tell her that she ought not to ought not antagonize their captors. Or she could wind up with the Divine's blood on her hands by proxy. We failed. The Magister's stare hardens into an intense scowl. Son Magister of a bitch. Alright, fine. Uh, Losa, what are you good at? You're good at intelligence as well. Alright, let's try the young this. Magister pace. She notices Magister Ranley. Magister Ranley. The Magister falls silent. Intelligence. Failed. The Magister's stare. Magister Ranley. Unbelievable. Sibyl? You're good with the old wits and also finesse. Maybe finesse might be the way to go. The Magister falls silent, but we can't. Wits. We fail. The Magister stare. Magister Ran. What the shit? Should we just fucking bash her? Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Uh, strength. Point out that she's alone, unarmed, and there's a ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. She's in no position to make. To be making demands. Ah, we succeeded there. Finally. All right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Get a good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. A spoiled boy? Look at his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Slip the gem from around his neck and place it in your pocket. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Okay, we have a strange gem. Maybe this has something to do with the, uh, with the door. Right, let's get the gate closed. Stupid Magister Ranley bullshit. Come on, Magister Ranley. Who the hell do you think you are, Magister Ranley? Unbelievable. Well, I hope we did the right thing, but we basically failed persuasion with like every single one of us. The door remains unmarked. Hold the gem. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the Ugh. door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Uh, Klatu Barada Niktu? Uh, Fortitude. Yes. And yes again. The word is spoken. Welcome. To the state room. Hot damn! 
Here we are, kids! Let's start looting. First things first, is we gotta start looting. We got wall racks upon wall- vile racks. <gasps> Empty potion bottles! Oh my god! <sighs> this is the best- guys, close the door. No, no, close the door. I want to uh, make sure we're checking out all these vile racks. Got some medium healing potions as well, fantastic. More empty potion bottles. This is the best. Imagine all the things that we can make with these. Holy crap. Maybe I should actually do this in between episodes so I'm not boring you guys to death with like me just going around randomly ransacking uh um potion bottles and shit. Yeah, let me do that in between episodes. Whoa. One more moment, please. Uh excuse me? He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. A curious smile plays across his lips as he takes you in. An undead, eh? Wonders never cease aboard this vessel. Ah, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Especially when it comes to their rescuers. To whom do I owe my thanks? Mm, remark that he doesn't seem at all alarmed to find, an, uh, find himself facing an undead. I see no cause for alarm. I'm not some uneducated simpleton, you know. Oh, could have had me fooled. Say that you and your companions or compatriots have seized this ship from the Magisters and demand to know who he is. Ask what he's doing. Is that armor he's working on? Armor? Such a limiting word, but yes. It serves that purpose, amongst others. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But I try to keep working on my own projects when I can. Uh, point out that prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why was he here? Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. What's with the weird way that you're saying words? She kept me here to do her bidding. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. Remark that it sounds like he was kept as her personal slave. Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. Ooh. Well, uh, sure, let's... Express our sympathies. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do I owe my thanks? Announce yourself as no less than the future savior of Rivalon. <laughs> Let's do it. Hmm. A lofty take on yourself, no? I suppose time will take measure of your actions. Hey man, I've done it before. I can do it again. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Unless there was anything else? Ask what exactly Dallas had him do here. Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchant a dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to fog my memory. The rest is a blur. Uh, remark that memory loss is very convenient. There must be more. Trust me. Convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? Mmm, hold the wire out of reach and say you want to hear a proper ending to a story first. Let's just pass him the wire. He takes the copper with a nod of gratitude. His sleeve slips back above his elbow. In its crook, you see part of a tattoo. A pattern of concentric circles rendered in black. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. But for now, I'm afraid there's little more I can add. Hmm. Say that you don't believe him. Let's not antagonize him. Let's just turn to other matters. Um. Tell him the ship is immobile. Does he know what might be causing that? Dallas didn't tell me anything if she could avoid it. But I did overhear her practicing an ancient lizard dialect. Significant, perhaps? Don't you think? Hmm. Tell him to spit out whatever it is that he's insinuating. There's no time for guessing games. Uh, let's just say it means nothing to Lizards us. Lizards apparently have ancient magic that allows them to control slaves that bear their mark by singing a song. Uh, Dallas must have had an interest in those techniques. Hmm. The gauntlet he's working on. Is it a magister piece? Something that he took from them? Took it? No, no. 
I made it. Have you seen the kind of metalwork the Magisters deploy? This is in a different class to them. As I said, the Magisters left me weakened. But this will help give me the strength to carry on my work. Hmm. You spent time with Dallas? Ask what he can tell you about her. Despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire the woman a little. She's unwavering. She will break before she bends. If you cross paths with her, be sure to break her. I doubt you will get another chance. All right. Fine. That's good. All right. Oh, whoa. Teleporter pyramid. Oh, damn. We'll probably take all that stuff, um, but we should wait until the next episode before we do that. It's a whole bunch of uh, tomes and shit to take, I think. But again, we'll do that in the next episode. Um, in between episodes, I might actually recruit the prince and then um, take uh, have him take for uh, Fane's place. Because I kind of like the idea of having our group being as diverse as humanly possible. I say humanly, but of course, Losa is the only human here. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, in, in fact, replace Fane with uh, the Red Prince and then make uh, the Red Prince a uh, mage-type character. And also, I'll kind of look through um, the appearance options that we can uh, for these guys, and then maybe we'll switch things up a little bit. But we'll see. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.